Hello everybody, my name is Beck, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing my Nintendo Switch collection as of 2020. Just bear in mind that most of the games that you see in this video are purchased with my own money and some are gifts from friends and family and sometimes, on very rare occasions, I do get codes from companies asking me to review games for them. Although it's very rare but it does happen from time to time, I will be showing you my physical copy games then my consoles and then towards the end I will show you guys my digital copies. With that in mind, this is also my second time filming this video. If I don't seem too enthusiastic about it, it's because I just finished packing up all my Switch games back onto the shelves and I have to pull it out once again to show you guys. I am filming this on the 23rd of December so I don't know when this will come out. Happy holidays for those of you who celebrated and just to throw it out there I am almost 30 years old and this is how I choose to spend my disposable income. I don't have a sizable collection. I know for a fact that I don't have the biggest collection but not really small. Okay as you can tell my shelf is now empty. Let's start off with the limited edition games that I have. Well limited or special editions of games. I only have three games which I have purchased like a special edition for and as you can tell it's really dusty despite me pulling it out earlier and showing it. I don't touch these boxes and that's the sole reason why I don't really gravitate towards special editions unless the game is either on sale or if I'm a really big fan of the franchise. I tend to just buy the standard versions because I have a sizable backlog as I play PS4 games and other consoles and sometimes I buy the PC version simply because it's cheaper. The latest game I got is is Kingdom's Majestic Limited Edition. I got this during Black Friday of this year. I have played the Steam version. I've watched several YouTubers play it. This was on sale so I decided to grab it because I don't have two crowns. I've only got the base game of this so that's why I grabbed it. The base game which is New Lands and two crowns and some reverse covers, digital soundtrack and lenticular image and four scenery artwork. I really enjoy this game. I've been playing it a lot during my break. And the second special edition slash limited edition I got was Slighter's Alpha. Before I continue, I am Australian. I am based in Australia. Most of the stores that I mentioned are within Australia unless I specify otherwise. I will give a little bit of the background details when I'm discussing the games. In my last couple of videos in my 2018-2019 collection, a lot of people have been asking me why there is so much price discrepancies. It's because I'm from Australia. Please convert it at your own will. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Okay, so I have Citus Alpha. You can actually try out the free mobile app version of it and it's five Australian dollars if you want to buy the base packs and you can just like continuously buy all the packs for the songs. But this is actually the full version. It has every single song so far. I don't know about the DLC. I haven't played it in a while. If you enjoy music games, I would recommend this. It can be a little bit difficult, but I enjoy Cytos for what it is. But if you wanted to try it out and see what it feels like, you can try the mobile version because that's where it originated from, I think. It was on sale. That's why I grabbed it. And the only other quote unquote special edition I got was Pokemon Let's Go Eevee plus the Pokeball Plus. This was actually a gift from a ex-friend who I no longer talk to so it's a bit, here you go, it's a bit awkward but here we, we have this. Still have the Pokeball which looks like this and I have the original Plus. At one point before the world situation happened, I used to go outside and play it occasionally, but I've stopped for a while. Completed the game. It was pretty straightforward. I've played the original version. M more or less, it's the same thing. On to my older pile of Switch games. I haven't touched these games in a very long time. So I have Fire Emblem Warriors. I bought this under the impression that it was the traditional Fire Emblem games, but it's not. It's kind of like a hack and slash dynasty warrior kind of ordeal. I've been trying trying to finish it for many years, have not. I got Diablo Eternal Collection. My friend Josh, your player two on YouTube, got this for me from America Walmart two years ago for 17 US dollars. He managed to snatch the copy for me, the very last one. Next we have Azura Striker Gun Revolt pack during a giveaway. I won this. A couple of years back. I forgot who the YouTuber was. But yes, I won this in a giveaway raffle. Haven't played it since. Here's the EV copy. And Splatoon 2. I actually lost a copy. I cannot find it. I was trying to play this the other day with my friends. I've lost this game 
for a while now. I do not know where it went. And I've also lost my Octopath Traveler because I did move up one point and some of my games are not here with me. I still need to dig out some boxes to find out like where exactly I placed them. Is Bomberman. This was also a gift but I'm pretty sure I traded my one to switch for this. Yeah we have it. Bomberman. I haven't played this in a while as well. Chocobo Mystery Dungeon. I asked my mom to picked this up when she was on a trip to Hong Kong last year. I haven't played it for a while because I am struggling. This is a really difficult game for me. But yeah, I managed to grab a physical copy of this game, which is pretty nice. Super Mario Odyssey. My friend Chizu or Chizu Cake on Twitch grabbed this game for me. She managed to have an extra copy and she sent it to me as a gift and I still haven't finished it till this day. I am almost done completing. I'm at the final place. Should really finish the game, but I'm lazy. And I have this. I forgot I had it, if I'm being completely honest. This is why I have not purchased anything from the franchise in a while. I will not buy the game until I finish this. I got to a point where I was stuck and I had to grind a little bit more and I just gave up. I have Super Mario Maker 2. I played it a lot when it first came out and it kind of died down for me. I have the original Wii U version here. I didn't take it out because obviously this is a Switch video but I have it. I have Puro Puro Tetris. I know the new game just popped out recently. I don't like traditional Tetris, but I really enjoy this, but I haven't played it in a while. Got it when the Switch first came out, but there's so many options now, so I don't really gravitate towards it. Doraemon Stories of Seasons. Out of all the Stories of Seasons games, I would not really recommend this after playing it for a little bit more. I personally prefer the traditional Stories of Seasons kind of game. It's also kind of empty compared to like the other franchises. If you're a collector such as myself, this might be a good game for you. But if you're on a limited budget, I wouldn't go out of my way to pick this up unless it's on sale, which it is currently right now, and it was during Black Friday. I have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Again, it's one of the games that I'm close to completion, but I haven't completed it yet. This was one of the games that I had earlier on when the Switch came out, because it was mainly the only option. But I have this. Next I have Dragon Builders 2. I played the original game like way back on the PS Vita and I prefer 2 over 1 that's for sure. There's a massive improvement. I never really finished the first game on the Vita but this one was also a gift from your player 2 for my birthday last year when it first came out all my friends here on youtube and in real life started playing this as well really fun and if you like rpg adventure minecrafty kind of games then i would highly recommend and i kind of want to play this again i'm on break so i'm just like gravitating towards my rpg games but i have a lot of backlog that i'm trying to go through okay we are on to the second pile so we have pokemon mystery dungeon rescue team dx i got this on a flash sale on Amazon one day for like 49 Australian dollars and then it went back down to 45 Australian dollars and price kept dropping and then it went back up but I think I got it at a pretty decent price still but I got it for 49 I haven't played it yet <laughs> at least I waited and didn't buy it upon launch date because I knew I wouldn't play it when I first got it I will start it soon but I have played the original games on the DS. I haven't played the Game Boy Advance version, but I have played the DS version. Um, I played the Blue Mystery Team back in the days. Next we have the Wacky Wacky Suite. This was also an Amazon purchase. It was on sale for like 20 something, 30 Australian dollars one day and I decided to grab this. The next couple of purchases are actually from Amazon. And I have played it for a little bit, but not too much. I prefer Wacky Wacky Suites over Cooking Mama. So if you're looking for that type of game, it has better storyline, it has actual better looking food, and it's a dating sim element kind of thing. So if you're into those stuff, then that is a better option. Next is a Zoom Zoom Festival. If you have a Nintendo Switch Lite, don't buy this game because a lot of the mini games that you see here, you can't play on the Switch Lite. And I do have a main Switch. So that's why. Um, I think you can only like play two games. 
I have opened it, I have had a look on it. It finally went down to a reasonable price where I feel like I was comfortable with it and then I got it and then the price went back up. I got this for relatively cheap so I'm not too mad about it but I haven't played too much. I realized that this year I have bought a lot of games but since I can't travel this year all my disposable income has been thrown to video games that I have been meaning to buy. Whenever I see a sale I just go and grab it. Mario Kart Deluxe 8 I have played this several times when my friends started streaming. Yes I bought this game last month in the year 2020. I bought this game because it was finally on sale. My friend Micah Biker streamed it a couple of times and that's the only time I've really hopped on to play it. I'm not the biggest Mario Kart fan so I really wanted to join in and I've been asked it several times and I finally caved in and got it. So I've hopped on to their streams to play this. Next is Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am happy to say that I have finished this game. I have truly completed this game except for the DLC that I recently bought which is also on sale that's why I bought it but I have finished all three routes of the three houses the secret route the true route and some other miscellaneous things that you might have to google for yourself I won't spoil it here but I have finish the base game. That's all I can say. I need to start the DLC soon. If you couldn't tell, there's a lot of backlog going on. I'm happy to say that I at least finished the main storyline. Next is SNK Heroin Tag Team Frenzy. This was a gift from Your Play 2 again. We trade a lot. I send him questionable games and he sends me questionable games back. I have not played it. I got the gold coins and I call it quits. That's all I did. I know several of my friends want this. I'm actually trying to send this game back to Josh. You might not see this next year. Next is Snack World, the Dungeon Crawl Gold. I bought this back in May of 2020. I started playing it, I'm struggling because I am currently stuck in a cave somewhere. I need to grind a little bit more and I really can't be bothered to do that right now. I originally borrowed this game from Robo, the Japanese version, and I didn't know what was going on. I really hoped that it was like fantasy life kind of vibe, but it's just not the same. It has that kind of element to it because it's by the same devs, I think. For some reason, I cannot go back to this. I will try my best to go back. I bought this on sale again. I think I waited for a pretty long time for this game to go on sale. We have two more piles to go. In this pile, I'm less ashamed of myself. So here we go. Ooh, sneak peek. Okay, we have Stories of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. This is my childhood game. I really like original Harvest Moon games and this is now called Stories of Seasons. If you'd like to learn more about the history of why the name changed, it's because of localization issues and whatnot. But if you grew up with the traditional Harvest Moon games from back in the days, it is now called Stories of Seasons, so please give it a go. I know the current Harvest Moon games are like questionable at best, but it's the Stories of Seasons. You need to go back to this. It comes with cute stickers. I have played it a lot when it first came out. Happy to say that this is not a backlog. Next is Paper Mario the Origami King. This is my first proper Paper Mario kind of game. I have played a little bit of the Wii, but I never really finished it, and it was never my own copy, and I really enjoyed it. I really want to try out the older Paper Mario games. I am happy to say that I have finished this, but I have not collected all the toads because that would drive me insane. There is a river boat sequence that I cannot for the life of me go back and collect all the toads there because it was so dreadful. Next we have The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I have streamed this once. I have childhood trauma from this game. I think it is a legitimate Chinese copy back in the days. I did not understand what was going on and I was traumatized by the monsters because I thought it was really scary even though it's like highly pixelated but I was young. I got to relive the trauma by playing the, <laughs> the more crisp version of it but I did stream it. I struggled. Stream, my chat had to help me because I don't know what the hell I was doing and I died a lot. I enjoyed the art style of the game. I really just need to finish it and just probably read a walkthrough because I never really finished it when I was a kid. Next we have Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I really don't like the approach that Nintendo did for this game and I don't understand why this is a limited release but I did get it because a lot of my friends have told me how much they like Mario Sunshine and I've never played it. I didn't own a Nintendo GameCube back in the day. I have played Super Mario 64 because I think my dad had the console, but we don't have it anymore. And I have Super Mario Galaxy. I never finished the game. Now that I'm currently playing it in the year of 2020, maybe because I'm like closer to 30, I get motion sickness. I used to be fine playing 
<laughs> Super Mario Galaxy, but I get sick playing these games. I'm trying my best to continue Mario Sunshine. I have streamed it a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't have streamed it at 4am in the morning. I wouldn't have struggled that much. I just didn't like how it was like limited in capacity to buy it. Next we have Ring Fit Adventure. Bought this because, you know, I saw it on sale and I had nothing better to do at home. I feel like a lot of people bought it during this time period because of you know what and I did it twice. If you couldn't tell by now, I'm fairly unfit. This was a very painful experience for me. I feel like if you can't go outside, this is like a, a better alternative, I guess. But it was not a fun experience. Kind of like a Wii Fit kind of situation for me. Where I have the intention of exercising every day with this. It has not worked out for me because I need... Next we have... Room Factory 4 Special. I have wanted this game for the longest time ever and I'm looking forward to Room Factory 5 because if you couldn't tell by now, I do like me some farming sims. Room Factory 4 4 was never a physical release out in Australia when it first came out on the 3DS for us. I had to buy the digital copy and it cost 80 Australian dollars. I'm just happy to own a physical copy of this game because I really like the Room Factory and Old School Harvest Moon franchise which is currently Stories of Seasons. I have played it. I haven't finished it yet because I am also stuck somewhere. I need to grind a little bit more but I'm progressing. In the original 3DS version, I have finished the game, so I'm happy to tell you say that, but I just need to finish it. Next we have Xenoblaze Chronicles 2. I have finished this game. I also have Xenoblaze Chronicles Definitive Edition. Turns out, I was recently educated that the Wii U version was different from the Wii version. I have played the Wii U version, I have not played the Wii version, so this is the Wii version. But I have finished two. This was my second Xenoblade Chronicles game because I played the Wii U version. Yeah, I played the Wii U version first and then I played this and then I finally get a chance to play it. The voice acting for this was... <laughs> hmm. This is a backlog. I started playing it. It already feels a lot better than this one. In my personal opinion, uh, I know this is a fan favorite and a lot of my friends really enjoyed the second game, but I just, I like it, don't get me wrong, but the, the story from this one and the voice acting, I finished this game, but I haven't finished this one. So I have, um, yeah. I have nothing to say. What can I say? I have two, oh, actually no, I have three islands. So is it, okay. Yeah. Um, as you can tell, I like Animal Crossing. On to the final pile, which is not a lot of games. I actually have more, but some of them are either lost in boxes or somewhere I don't know. I can't, I cannot find them. My collection may have differed from last year because I do either give away, trade them away, or sell them. It might change from time to time. For the most part, my collection remains the same throughout the years. But I know for a fact next year, during March, it's gonna increase because there's Digimon, there's Room Factory 5, Monster Hunter Rise, more stories of seasons. It's gonna grow next year. I'm just trying my best not to spend any money now. I'm really looking forward to next year. Okay, next we have Cafe Enchante. This is a dating sim. I waited for a little bit because it went out of stock immediately and then it came back in stock for slightly cheaper and that's when I got it. I have started playing it. I haven't progressed much. That's all I can say. Next I have the two Pokemon games, I have Pokemon Shield and Pokemon Sword. I bought this on launch date. I have the DLC attached to it. So I've been playing the expansion pack and yeah, I've been really enjoying it. I haven't finished the expansion pack for this yet, but I think I'm towards the end of it. I've been doing a lot of max raid battles back in November when it first like started. This is pretty fun. And I got this during Black Friday for like 40 something dollars. And I started playing this, but I don't have like the DLC attached to this one. And I don't feel like I want to buy it again. So my main game is Shield. I just got it because it was on sale. Did I need it? Not really. Because usually you just like attach yourself to like one copy of Pokemon, I feel like. At least for me. But I, I want to finish this one at least so I can trade between accounts. Anyway, next we have this one. That I have trouble pronouncing, haven't started. Let's move on. 
And this is like my latest physical copy and the last game of 2020. This was a gift from once again from your player too, Josh. As my Christmas present, I gifted him Yakuza on the Xbox. I'm not familiar with the Xbox, so the newest one. So we basically traded games again. This is Tokyo Mirage Session FE um, Encore. I have this on the Wii U and never finished it because I have trauma with my save file. It corrupted during a storm and I never want to play it again. And this scares me, but I, I didn't remove this from my Amazon wish list, so that's my fault. Since it's a gift, I will force myself to play it and finish the game. But I haven't started on the Nintendo Switch. Now I'll be showing you guys my Nintendo Switch physical consoles. And I won't be showing the screen because I have lights and it will reflect and blind you guys. So I'm going to show you the back. I have the Nintendo Switch Lite after the one in the turquoise colour. The reason why I bought a Nintendo Switch Lite in 2020 was because this is my original Nintendo Switch. I have the purple and the orange neon Joy-Cons for this. My original neon red and blue Joy-Cons are drifting like crazy. I have packed them up because my friend offered to fix it for me or attempt to fix it for me. The Joy-Cons are well over the warranty date so I can't send it back to Nintendo to fix it for me so he just offered to fix them. And since I bought new Joy-Cons anyway, I don't care if he breaks it. But anyway, that's the backstory. The battery life for this one is deteriorating. This was bought on launch week. It's been a long time and it has major battery issues and it screams every single time I start playing it, the fan goes crazy. And another reason why I bought the Nintendo Switch Lite was because I gave up on the Animal Crossing edition of the Switch. I couldn't afford the Animal Crossing Switch when it first came out and I missed out the pre-order dates so I asked EB Games if they were ever going to restock it and they weren't going to so I just gave up on that thought and bought a Switch Lite. I really like the Nintendo Switch Lite. It does have its limitations. As someone who prefers handheld and portable devices, this was a better option for me. If you are new to my channel, then you probably don't know about this. For everybody else, you already know what's going to happen. I bought this on sale because I thought I wasn't going to get the Animal Crossing Switch. I knew what happened. It got a restock in September because EB Games lied to me. They said they weren't restocking back in May and they restocked in September and in fact it is in stock at several other places. I just didn't want to pay scalpers pricing for this particular switch. I know a lot of scalpers were selling it for like a thousand dollars in Australia but I obviously don't support that and I first of all I can't afford it but mainly I don't support that behavior but it came back in stock in September and I have it. I waited a couple of months before I got the switch light. Alas, this came out, I caved in and I bought it. That is the origin and why I have three switches. Because I did ask in advance several other stores asking if they would ever restock the Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch and they all said no to me. And that is why I bought a Switch Lite. This one truly is on the brink of death. I don't know if I can even sell it to be honest. I have the original Switch. I have the Animal Crossing Switch. And I have the Switch Lite. And the only accessories changes I have for this year would be this. My friend Beatrix bought this for me for my birthday present. Out of all the cases that I own, I really like this one the most. I really like the colour scheme because it matches with my Switch. When we ever get the chance to travel again, I will be bringing my Switch Lite. For my main Switch currently, I use the Animal Crossing one. And that is it for my physical copies and my consoles. I will now do a voiceover and show you guys my Nintendo Switch digital games. Okay, as you can tell, there's Hades, Monster Hunter Generation Ultimate, Kingdom's Two Crown, the Hatsune Miku Project Diva Mega Mix, Taiko no Tatsujin, Muzink, Brunch Club, Kato by Humble Bundle, Part Time UFO, Donut County, Cook Surf Delicious 2, Groove Coaster Wild Wild Party, Headliner Novi News, Death and Taxes, Nicole, Pan Pan a Tiny Big Adventure, Demo, Voice, The Grand Legacy, the longest five minutes, Irony Curtain, Yes Your Grace, Pokemon Home, The Count Lucana, Wargrooves, Mr. Driller Drillland, Half Past Fate, The Men of Yoshiwara Ogiya, <laughs> don't buy it, it's horrible, Moose Dash, All Stars Fruit Racing, Not Tonight, Farm Together, Cat Tales, 
Kotodama, The Seven Mysteries of Fujisawa, don't buy this. I got this for a couple of cents, I would not recommend it. Moonlighter, Uncharted Ties, Port Royal, War Tree, Marchi, and Jump Rope Challenge. Anyway, that's it for my collection video as of 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to ask me or say to me. And hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. And hit the bell for notifications. And I hope you guys stay safe during this holiday season. And I hope 2021 will be a lot better. If you would like to see my PS4 games collection or Amiibo collections, please let me know. I'm on the fence of filming it because the PS5 came out recently so I feel like it's redundant if you like to still see those sorts of things like my amiibos and stuff please let me know anyway I'll see you guys in my next video bye